Hey everybody, I'm Michael, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Ledger Live desktop app. I recently moved computers, and I'm on my desktop computer now. I was previously working on a laptop, and I needed my Ledger Live installed and to be able to see my funds on my desktop. So what I did was I searched in Google for Ledger Live, and it's going to be ledger.com. This is the one you want to use. Click on that, and then it says download the app. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on desktop scroll down, I'm going to select my Mac app because that's what I'm using right now, my Mac, and it's going to download this program onto my computer. You can see it pop down right down here. If you'd rather use the mobile device, you can download on the App Store or the Google Play Store. It works very, very similar. So now that this is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and click on it to load it. Now we'll drop the Ledger Live app onto my Applications folder and it is currently copying Ledger Live to my Applications folder. Now that that's complete, let's go ahead and click on Applications, and I'm going to scroll up to my Ledger Live app. And yep, I want to open it. And let's go ahead and click Get Started, because I already have a device. I've already read all of this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and enter the Ledger app. And my device is a Nano X, so I'll click on that one. And then I'm going to scroll down here and connect my Nano X device to the Ledger Live app. So now that I've logged into my Ledger device, I'm going to click Connect to Nano X. And I will go ahead and click Continue. Then I'm going to click Check My Nano, just to make sure it's a genuine one. Back on my Ledger device, I have to allow the Ledger Manager, so I will enable that. And right now it's just reading all the stuff from my Ledger device, and it's putting it right on here into the Ledger Live app. Click on Continue. And here we go. So when I saw this on my mobile device, I already did all of my account adding, like adding my Ethereum, my Bitcoin, things like that. But for the sake of this, I'm going to go ahead and do that again so I can show you exactly how to add accounts. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and click Add Account. And I'm going to choose Ethereum. Click on Continue. And then I have to open the Ethereum app on my Ledger Nano X. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can hear some clicking around in the background. That's me just activating this. And once it syncs and it gets access to my account on my Ledger Nano, it will then show up here on Ledger Live. And I will go ahead and name this ETH. Click on Add Account. And it's been added successfully. Done. Next up, let's come to Accounts. Let's go ahead and add another account. This time, I'm going to add the Crypto Asset XRP. Click on Continue going to pop up on my ledger device and add that account. I'm going to just name it XRP. Click that. Click done. There we go. If you wanted to do this for more, you could come back down and type in the same things that I'm doing for the coins that you hold. I have Bitcoin, so I'll put it this like this. And then I'll go on my ledger device and go into my Bitcoin account. So I'm scrolling through. Open up the app for Bitcoin. Synchronizing. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and rename it to BTC. You can see I have two different accounts here. This one has zero Bitcoin in it. This one has a little bit. So I'm going to rename this one to BTC Segwit, whatever that means. I'm not entirely sure. And this one will be BTC Native Segwit. Just like that. And then I will click Add Accounts and click Done. Now I'll go through the rest of these and add them for myself, but if you didn't have these accounts yet, let's say you wanted to add Ethereum or Bitcoin or something, you'd come down here, click on Manager, and this is where you will install all the different apps that you want to install. So you can see I have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, XRP, and Avalanche installed on my Ledger Nano X. If I wanted to install the Solana or Binance Smart Chain, I would just click Install here. And then once those were installed, I would come back to the account section and then click on add account to add an account related to those different installs that I just did. And that's basically all there is to it. Hopefully you found this video helpful and that I was able to clearly tell you how to install the Ledger Live desktop app on your computer and then how to actually add the accounts that you have in your Ledger Live or your Nano X device. If you don't have a Nano device yet, I'll put links down below for you to check out. For me, they are the a lifesaver, especially if you're trading more than like $500 to $1,000 and you plan on holding those coins and tokens for a while. If you're kind of impatient, you want to buy things and then sell things and then buy things and then sell things back and forth in one crypto exchange like Coinbase or something like that, 
then a ledger might not be for you. But if you are like me and you want to buy different coins and hold on to them for years, like I'm doing with Ethereum and Bitcoin, then I would highly recommend checking out a ledger to see if that's something that would be worth it to you. But if you did find this video helpful, please give it a like, please subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one, and I will see you guys in the next video.